Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class, that is English for Grade Two. We are learning Unit A. To its title is an accident at home. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it. Followed as it is or modified for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today we are going to start reading and understanding the text. Before this, in your English for Grade One, I have taught you to locate text or lesson by looking at titles and pictures. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to extend the practice by using. Textbook pictures to aid comprehension and development of vocabulary, identify, recognize, and articulate free or more lettered sight words. These are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al Baqarah, verse one fifty one, "We have sent among you a messenger from yourselves." Reciting to you our verses and purifying you and teaching you the book and wisdom and teaching you that which you did not know. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling us the importance of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Allah is mentioning that he. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent to teach us the way of living. And how did he teach? By his action, by amal, and by Quran. So, beta, Quran and Sunnah is for us to follow. Inshallah, we'll try to follow. And one thing which is important, we are getting the message: the people around us, our teacher, our parents, our elder siblings, they are also there to help us to. Understand the things, right? So this is the concept. Let's uh, learn from this uh, unit. And before we go to text, first we have to understand the text by picture. So look at this picture. The title is an accident at home. And what can you see on this picture? Like there are two boys. They are sitting on a sofa. They are watching TV. And on floor we can see there is stuff which is scattered. And when the things are scattered around us, what do we say? It's untidy or messy floor. We can see. What's going to happen in the next picture? There is a girl. Look at her face. She's angry. She's shouting. Why? Maybe she's angry because of the mess, and she is trying to convey a message. And in next picture, there is an old man. We can see he is holding a stick. And the stick is helping him to walk, and the two boys who were sitting on sofa are walking after him. So we can guess what might have happened in this story. The mess caused uh, an unpleasant situation, and there is something with the old man as well. So, beta, this is whenever you are going to start reading a book, and there are pictures, you should look at the pictures and try to sketch the story in your brain. This will help you to. Comprehend the story, and this is how. Before reading, you can use your own vocabulary to make a connection between the story and the pictures. Okay, so let's start reading and find out whatever we guess is it correct or not. Okay, so all of you open your book on this page from the very first uh, pre-reading question. I'm going to start it. Have you ever got hurt at home? Pause the video. Answer this question to your teacher, and then come back. Yes, my my dear students. Yes, by accidentally, it it is very normal. Children get hurt, but we should be careful to avoid hurting ourselves and others. Okay. So let's start from the very first sentence. Let's see what does you, the story tell us. Ahmed. And I were watching television. Ahmed's books, toys, and shoes were all over the floor. Yes, my dear children, pause, pause for a time and see use of comma. 
I taught you. Why we have put? Because there, there is list of things, books, comma, toys, comma, and shoes. This is how better we use comma in sentence, okay? Next is, please pick your things up, said the elder sister, Ramin. Someone could trip over. And what does trip mean? Me means abruptly can fall on it. So before going to next sentence, I want you why I have circled these, these words. And were your said could. These are called sight words. Remember, we have learnt about it. And why do we call them sight words? There can be two reasons. One, by looking at them, we need not to struggle to read them because we have read them so many times. So we know it's and, it's were, it's your. And the second thing we know for side words, sometimes they are not easily decodable. Means we cannot spell them separately as in could. We cannot read it by spelling it. So both type of words are known as sight words, okay? So while reading, I have taught you, I have uh, make you to recall the concept of sight words. So be careful while reading, you have to be cautious about sight words, okay? So I'm going to start reading again. Ahmad said, yes, I will. But he did not move from the sofa. Ramin was going out. As she left, she called, Ahmad, pick up your things now. I will do it in a minute, said Ahmad. I looked at his shoes but did not pick them up. I wish I had. We were still watching television when grandfather came in. Can I join you? He asked. Yes, my dear students, I'm stopping my reading over here because rest of the lesson we'll read tomorrow. So it's your turn. First, you have to do this activity. Are you ready for that? And what's the activity? You will read the text again. And encircle all the sight words. Remember, I just told you sight words. So, whatever sight words are there, you have to encircle them. And you can take help from this page. This is the last page of your book. A list of sight words is given. You may take help from that. You are allowed. Okay. So, pause the video, complete this activity, and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? I hope you have encircled all the sight words I told you on the next. It's but from the was here now and said at but not etc. If you found more words, you can talk to your teacher and confirm either it's a sight word or not. Okay. So let's, uh, uh, yeah, it, it was here as well. It's time for your homework. You will practice 10 new sight words, okay? We have learned about sight words, so you will practice 10 new sight words. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan and PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear students, what you have to do, you have to choose the correct. This is a list of sight words. Choose the correct and complete the sentence. So what we have learned today, we learned to use textbook pictures to aid comprehension and development of vocabulary. And we also identified, recognized, and articulated three or more lettered sight words. So in this way, we achieved our SLOs to use textbook pictures to aid comprehension and development of vocabulary, identify, recognize, and articulate three or more lettered sight words. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. We'll continue reading of this unit. So till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.